Hi everyone, this is Professor Benjamin, and the objective of this video is to give you a walkthrough of the Tragedy of the Commons and Anthropocentric Attitudes assignment. Now, depending upon what semester you're taking my class, um, this will either be found in session two or session three, so it all depends, but the assignment is the same. Um, and uh, it's you remember all assignments in this course are usually found at the end of the module. So I'm gonna click on it and walk you through it it gives you the expectations of, of it in the assignment. This is a turn it in assignment, meaning that you need to make sure that you put it through the turn it in portal before submittal. You should have immediate results back to you to help you improve upon your assignment. Now, of course, if you wait till the last minute to submit this assignment, you will not be given immediate feedback um, to your assignment um, to be able to revise it. So it's up to you. If you want to submit it beforehand, you'll be given um, in advance, you'll be given some um, grammar, mechanics, um, sentence structure uh, recommendations, it'll also let you know where you've plagiarized and have not properly cited. Um, so you want to, of course, look at those. If you choose not to use Turnitin and then you do plagiarize, you will be given a zero for your assignment and for the entire class. So please take um, my warning with um, with some kind of, um, I guess, some strong, uh, uh, some feelings, because I definitely want to make sure that you are learning how to properly cite in this course. Um, so this assignment is an invasive species assignment, and we um, learn about this uh, throughout this course um, using Garrett Hardin's Tragedy of the Commons um, article. He talks about invasive species in there. And remember, an invasive species um, is something that's brought in uh, for human short-term gain and not thinking about the long-term consequences of it. Now, there is a natural type of um, invasive species, which is actually implanted in a, um, in a non-native ecosystem by nature itself, meaning maybe a bird takes a seed from one area and then transplants it, uh, transports it to another area. That is not a tragedy of the commons invasive species. Invasive species that are tragedy of the commons are those that are brought in for human short-term gain. Uh, now for this assignment, I will accept ballast water as one of those. So you may come across ballast water throughout your um, throughout looking into the doc into um, types of invasive species and ballast water is when they take ships and they fill up um, in order for the ships to have buoyancy um, they actually fill up the um, bottom hull with water at while it's at port um, it then sets sail um, across the ocean and then on wherever it lands um, it lets that water out um, in the port and sometimes there are um, species that are transported within that and they become invasive species in that area because um, we are a globalized world and we like imports from other countries of course to support our consumerism I will allow you to use a ballast water uh, invasive species if you find one and it talks about ballast waters okay so the objective of this assignment is for students to understand the term invasive species, how humans introduce invasive species, and the consequences to the environment due to the introduction of the species. Students will also need to describe solutions or potential solutions that have been acted in order to eradicate the species. Remember to choose an invasive species which was imported for a human short-term gain, so make sure. Here are the learning outcomes and the scientific reasoning essential skills. So here are the directions. Research and write a one to two page single space page a, a paper about invasive species. Please remember, I do not want any title information on any papers. I don't want your name. I don't want invasive species. I don't want a title. I just want you to indent and start writing, typing your introduction paragraph. Um, that's absolutely essential for turning it into to keep privacy. Um, the system captures everything else, so I do not need you or want you to put your name or any title information on your papers in this course, please take heed to that warning. I will take points off for that because I'm asking you specifically not to do that. Um, so you will be answering these questions. So number one, um, you will look for a one, you'll write that one to two page paper that was introduced because of a short term gain for a human and became a nightmare in terms of the long term interests of the ecosystem, including your paper. 
So you will have an introduction paragraph and you will include in the introduction paragraph an introduction of your species. So your the name of the species, a description of the species, you know, just a little background information on the species um, in, in an introduction format. And then you'll have the body of the paper, which is um, how the in, how the species was introduced. You will um, which caused the tragedy of the commons, the area affected by the species. Maybe you'll have more than one paragraph here. Predators to the species the destruction of the environment and disruptions to other species. And then how is the species trying to be contained? So you want to make sure you um, talk about all these things throughout your paper, and then you have a conclusion to your paper. Um, so a wrap up of what you talked about in your paper. So this is a paragraph format paper with an introduction, the body where you kind of answer a lot of these questions, and then a conclusion to your paper. Now you're going to say to me, well, I don't know what an invasive species is. Where can I find a list of invasive species? Well, this right here, these links will help you find invasive species that are out there. There are a ton of invasive species. My kids are like way into fishing and they love the snakehead fish. They're reading like tons of information about the snakehead. Um, bamboo is an invasive species. There's tons of invasive species out there that are affecting the Philadelphia region. Um, the spider and lanternfly. Um, so tons of um, invasive species that you can write about. Um, and then, of course, the College Library website. So I give you a little hint here how to access the College Library website, and then you can look up invasive species there to include sources in your paper, okay? Um, and so here is the transparency why I'm giving the assignment. Down here is the rubric for your assignment. I always give rubrics. So you want to make sure you look through the rubric after you're done writing your paper and say, hey, did I do these things? If I did these things, then I should get points here, right? So number one, you need to have at least two sources in your paper. You need to show me where they've been used through in-text citations. If you copy information, make sure it's quoted. If you paraphrase information, make sure you say according to blank, 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 here it is, or after you've paraphrased make sure you have in parentheses the author um, or the name of the article with comma the year it was published in parentheses make sure you have in text citations and then on your reference page you will have your sources listed in full MLA formatting um, you need to make sure you have mechanics and grammar. You don't have grammar errors. You do not have spelling errors. You do not have sentence structure errors. Now, if you have one or two random ones, that's fine. But if your paper is littered with them, like it looks like you wrote it on your phone, um, no go. Um, make sure that words are properly capitalized. I see a lot of this now because a lot of people are using their phones, which is not good. Um, so make sure that you do that. And then make sure here that you've addressed all of these things on the rubric. Number one, students, you've thoroughly described the destruction um, incurred to the physical environment by, by the induction in, um, introduction of the species. You make sure you have demonstrated your ability through their writing um, of how the species on earth have interrelationships and work in a cycle and how this species has created an imbalance in the ecosystem. Um, you need to make sure that um, you can talk about that here, the cycle. Um, make sure you um, how it was introduced for short-term gain and the consequences and the stresses that it's put on the environment and students thoroughly have described solutions or potential solutions used to eradicate the species and whether they've worked or not. So you want to make sure you address all those because if you don't then of course I'm going to take points off here on the rubric. But if you answer all of the questions posed under the directions you should be meeting those rubric values there. Make sure your paper is at least one full page single spaced or more than one full page single spaced. We do not do double spaced in this course because most college writing requires double space. Um, so make sure you are double space, uh, single spacing your documents in this class. Um, and remember in that one to two pages, your reference page does not count. Um, so it not, does not count towards the one to two pages. Make sure that it's on a separate page. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, and I hope this video at least helped walk you through what my expectations are for this assignment.